and welcome to another edition of El Segundo Magazine. I'm your host, Katherine Chen. From Michelangelo to Picasso to Pollock, all of our beloved artists through time had to learn to draw at some point. Here at our local art museum, interested novice artists are learning some tricks of the trade. We are overcoming our egos. This six-week life drawing course at the El Segundo Museum of Art might be more than the participants bargained for. Artist-in-residency Kareem Hamid has brought his unique lesson plan which will definitely leave an imprint. What makes you want to come and teach? Because that's a whole different ball game than you doing your own. Right, I think one of the things that is interesting to me as an artist is a lot of the art world, a lot of it, is undeniably a, an arrogant place. It's a, almost an elitist feel. And uh, oftentimes to uh, uh, navigate your way through that requires a lot of sort of sophistication and things like such as that. And I don't really necessarily agree with that. Almost sort of like a man of the people kind of a thing. I think that there are ways that you can introduce high art to people in methods as I demonstrate here in my class, mm -hmm. to bring them into the art fold as well, and to make art interesting and, uh, and lively again. I don't think it's something that needs to be up on a pedestal. It needs to be accessible. And that's what, you know, ESMO does, in my opinion, as well, which is something that perfectly fits with my sensibilities because they believe in that same sort of principle, bringing their, their personal collection or these ideas out to the people. The idea of this course is slightly different than your average life drawing course. I think what happens a lot is we're taught how to be artists. And my goal is not necessarily to teach you how to be an artist. My goal is to teach you how to approach life drawing and then maybe being an artist if you wish to do so. In order to, to really learn, you must unlearn. And so part of that is, is my training, which is to teach you how to uh, get over some bad habits, uh, some ingrained sort of ideas of what you're supposed to create, and do away with that, and then build on that with a new method of uh, seeing the world. Kareem gave us 30 minutes to draw the model in our first exercise. And do not be shocked by the things I say or do later in the class. They're all meant in goodness. I'll never ridicule you, but I do get a little outrageous sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. I'm very impressed with some of the drawing skills I'm seeing. Choose your favorite drawing. Please hold them up. Are you ready? Let us behold the genius of the ego. As I said to you yesterday, my job is a full frontal onslaught directed exactly at your egos, including mine. If we are going to make anything that resembles art, we must first attack our egos because they are in our way. And every one of your drawings that I just saw there, whether they look like a three-year-old painted it out of the back of their head or more accomplished, they all ring of the same thing, egos. You take that drawing that you just held up and I want that thing ripped right down the middle. Such a beautiful sight. Once our egos were discarded in the trash, Kareem set us on our way to capture the model's energy and essence in a new exercise. I want full movements. We have about one minute, and you can create a lot with that minute. Now, you're not going to take that and show your parents, and they're not going to be proud of you. Your friends may not even buy you a drink later may call the doctor, but this is what we're after. I can't even imagine you have time to look at your paper. 
You should be feeling her. Move. Look for the essence. Space. What happens between her hand and that foot? Right? You don't see it there, but you can feel it. It helps you to set up your pose. Unless you can overcome that fear of the ego not wishing to reveal its vulnerability, you will fail. I want to feel energy. That is my armature. Later on, I will build this and maybe this with the foot. But this is the thing that drives my energy. This may not look like much to you, but to me and all the students here at the El Segundo Museum of Art, we are learning from the master, Kareem Hamid, that this is where everything starts. This is making a picture. We are not making pictures okay. here. We are making a mess, right? So I start with her head. I come down through her, her leg, back up to the head, back to the arm back to the other arm. So you want to fill all that in, just moving around the page, wherever your eye's going. The gesture is not a stick figure. Energy, work with me here. Watch, ready? Yeah. Down into her hips, down into her legs, back up into the arm, right across to the other arm. Oh, see, it's not so bad. Jumping off a cliff is bad. Drawing is not. Check it out. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Next. Now we're forcing ourselves to make a mess, right? This is good. The full pose should be set up with this armature. For now on, when you draw a drawing and you're near me, this is how you set up your drawing. We must capture that life. I love it. If it looks like a mess, you're doing something right. Next. Oh my God, I love it. See? You're rubbing off on me. But nice is not art. Nice does not make art. You are a genius locked inside of nice. We are going to break that. Look at that. Is that mine or yours? That's yours. I don't know. I don't remember now. <laughs> yeah, because I wouldn't normally make a mark like that. And that's a great mark that you just made to capture that. And so what we're doing though in a master drawing is we're taking that element that's very quiet in the beginning, that first initial response to somebody, but we're amplifying it. Our ego wants to control it, and it's easy to control things when they're like this, because we know in the back of our head, I can change that, I can change that, and nobody will see it, right? Yeah, I can go over it, I can even erase it, it will go away easy. But if we amplify things, now try and erase that or go over it. So that's what we're trying to do, is you have to go back into your earliest phase. Before you started to figure out the world consciously, you were nothing but intuition and energy. And that's what we are creating, intuition and energy. And you will fight me all the way along the line, <laughs> and I will fight back because I'm a scrappy little son of a you-know-what. These lucky students may not be leaving with the perfect drawings they expected, but they are leaving with something even more valuable, a new view on the foundation of their art. For El Segundo TV, I'm Beth Haggerty.